Good afternoon, everybody. I'm glad to demonstrate the new tool that gave me opportunity to write down here as I used to write on the whiteboard. This is my new camera. And uh, today I would like to speak about numeric system. Uh, my first mention about numeric system is a very ancient one named Roman system. Roman system came from fingering, meaning one finger is one, two fingers is two, three fingers is three. So that will be one and then two and then three and then four. Five, by the way, folks, will be two fingers like victory, like V. So six will be like this, seven will be five plus two, and eight will be five plus three, nine will be ten, ten is like this, ten is two cross fingers, and nine is here, and ten is like this. Then, folks, that will be 100, and that will be 1,000. A legion and millennium. These numbers are beautiful, but they're absolutely useless if you would like to make calculations. For example, can you calculate 23 multiplied by 11? You cannot do this. So, in 7th century, the necessary to make calculations uh, force people to design the new numeric system. This numeric system based on Indian and Arabic ideas and the first great mathematician who used it was Middle Asian one named Al Harizmi. Al Harizmi. Al Harizmi actually and wrote the book named Al-Jabr. Al-Jabr is algebra. So he actually was the person who invented algebra. His idea of numbers was different than Romans. He used geometry for that. And he used geometry this way. Uh, he calculated number of angles. That is one angle. That is two angles. You can calculate number one angle two angles, three angles, four angles, folks. One, two, three, four. Four angles. Five angles. Calculate them. One, two, three, four, five. Six angles. Seven angles, folks. Very interesting seven angles, eight angles, nine angles, and zero, number zero, there is no angles at all. Now you can see the glyphs, glyphs for these numbers that actually uh, was named then Arabic numbers. The idea of Alkarizmi was different than in Roman system. Numeric system. Numeric system is a system that allows people to calculate, but calculation in a Roman system is impossible. Alkarizmi suggested to make a new system, a new system named positional. Positional, positional numeric system. This positional numeric system could be characterized that every number must be multiplied by its weight. How to understand this? And weight actually depend on the position in the record of quantity. Let me explain. A record of quantity, folks, is just a regular number. Let's say 271. But this is singles, this is tenth, this is hundredths. And position is 0, 1, 2. We calculate positions beginning from 0. And then we'll go to multiply its position. That will be 2 multiply by 10 in the power of 2. Why power of 2? Because this is second position. Plus 7, 7 this digit 
multiplied by 10 to the power of 1 plus 1 digit here multiply by 10 in the power of 0. We know that any power of 0 is 1. 10 in the power of 0. Let's calculate. This is 200, this is 70, and this is 1. The sum of this will be 200 plus 70 plus 1. That will be 271. Exactly what we did. Let's make another number. 503. Again, positions. 0, 1, 2. So in decimal system, we call the system decimal. Decimal system because we multiply by 10. 10 in a Latin language will be decayed or decimal. We'll go for 5. Multiply by 10 in the power of 2 plus 0 because this is 0 number multiply by 10 in the power of 1 plus 3 multiply by 10 in the power of 0 and that will be 500 plus 0 plus 3 that will be 503. Folks, where this system is pretty positive and useful, because when you calculate, it is possible to make all four arithmetical actions. Take a look. Addition. We need to put position under position. So let's go for this. 271 plus 503, and that will be 1 and 3, position under position, that will be 1 plus 3, 4, 7 plus 0 will be 7, and 2 plus 5 will be 7, so that will be 774 in decimal system. Computer is specific device where there is no such thing like 10 fingers. This is only two physical state of the element of the computer. Transistor. Transistor is open and current is going through this. And transistor is closed and the circuit is empty. There is no current inside of the circuit. So actually the element of the transistor is the switch. Switch is open or switch is closed switch is closed. In this case there is no current. We can say this is a zero state and this is current is running through the circuit and this is one state. So folks can we actually operate with binary numeric system the same way as we operate with decimal? That answer is yes. Can we write binary code like this? One zero one one zero one and I'll put here binary and is that a record of quantity yes let's try to figure out I will put positions position zero position one position two position three position four and position five in this case let's go to right above this quantity but folks I would like to put 2 instead of 10 why so because there is 10 digits in decimal system 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 0 so that is 10 different digits in the binary system this is only two digits in binary system this is one or zero so this number this number will be one multiplied by two in the power of five why two because two numbers zero and one 
Why 5 power? Because 5th position plus 0 multiply by 2 in the power of 4. Why 2? Because 2 digits. Why 0? Because this is 0. Y power of 4 because this is 4th position plus 1 by 2 in the power of 3 plus 1 by 2 in the power of 2 plus 0 because this is 0 by 2 in the power of 1 plus 1 by 2 in the power of 0. Now we need to calculate how much of this. This is 32. How do I know that this is 32? Take a look. 2 by 2 will be 4 by 2, 8 by 2, 16 by 2, 32. 5 times we will multiply this by each other. This is 0 because we multiply by 0. This is 8, 2 by 2 by 2, 3 times. This is 4. This is 0, and this is 1, because 2 to the power of 0 will be 1, and the result will be 45. 45 in decimal. All right, folks, uh, what I would like to say more about binary system. Binary system allows us to calculate things as well as decimal system. And uh, now I would like to prove it. Uh, let's take binary record of quantity that could be like this one zero one one zero what is this we need to figure out what kind of quantity is this for this we need to put positions zero one two three four and now we will put a polynom that will go this way 1 by 2 in the power of 4 plus 0 by 2 in the power of 3 plus 1 by 2 in the power of 2 plus 1 by 2 in the power of 1 plus 0 multiplied by 2 in the power of 0. This is polygon and let me try to calculate it. 2 in the power of 4 is 16. This member is equal to 0 because multiplied by 0. This is 4 and this is 2 and this is 0. The result will be 16 plus 4. It's 22. Is equal 22 in decimal format. 22 in decimal format. Now, as soon as we have this expression, 10110 is equal to 22. I would like to, to add 1. So 10110 plus 1. And we need to calculate how much of this. Folks, the calculation is very simple, but I would like to give you the rule which actually um, works for the entire system of calculations. The rule is this. The highest digit plus 1 is equal 1, 0. For decimal system, the highest digit is 9. 9 decimal plus 1 decimal will be 1, 0. But the highest digit in binary system is 1. So one binary plus one, it will be one zero binary, and this is decimal. People can tell me how this can be one and one is equal to two. One is one and is equal to two. But folks, one zero in binary system is two. Let me prove it. I will write down one zero. Let me put the positions zero one. And then let me put here, it's a binary, so that will be 1 by 2 in the power of 1 plus 0 by 2 in the power of 0. Dot here means multiplication. This dot is 
actually asterisk. So that will be, that is 2, that is 0. So 1, 0 in binary system is 2 in decimal system. So 1 plus 1 in binary system is 1, 0. That is true. So let me calculate this expression. 0 and 1. 1, 1 here, 1 falling down, 0 falling down, and 1 falling down. Now I need to figure out this binary. How much is this? 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. So I need to put it here. 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. Let's put positions. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And I will convert it to polynomial. 1 by 2 in the power of 4 plus 0 by 2 in the power of 3. Why power of 3? Because position 3. Why 0 is multiplier? Because it's here. It's 0 is multiplier. Plus 1 by 2 in the power of 2 plus 1 by 2 in the power of 1 plus 1 by 2 in the power of 0. Now it is very interesting how much it is. Let me calculate. This is 16. This is 0. This is 4. This is 2. And this is 1. 23. That will be 23. 23 decimal. So I took 22 in binary. Add 1 and get 10111. When I convert it to decimal, it became 23. So that, I believe, is proof that we can make calculations. Yes, we can do this. Calculations is possible in calculations is possible in binary system. I'll put here exclamation mark. In binary system, actually that will demonstrate correct results. And speaking uh, about computers, the result of calculations is not dependable on the system which was used to make these calculations. Result depends only on the expressions. Result of calculations will be the same no matter which system we use, binary or decimal. Okay, folks, one more time I would like to tell you how this binary calculations actually happened. Uh, so let's go again with binary, binary quantity. 1, 0, 1, 1. 1, 0, 1, 1. We can calculate how much of this. For this, we need to go for positions. Positions, and that is position 0, position 1, position 2 position 3. Now we can convert this binary quantity into decimal. Look at this. Equal. We are going to take 1 because this is 1 and multiply it by 2 in the power of 3. Power of 3 because the first one is located in the third position. So 2 in the power of 3 plus next position. Multiplicator is 0. 0 multiply by 2 in the power of 2 plus 1 by 2 in the power of 1 plus 1 by 2 in the power of 0. Here is the rules how we convert quantity in binary form into decimal form. Then we can calculate. Calculate 2 in the power of 3 is 8 this quantity is, this member is 0, because multiplicator is 0. This one is just 2, and this one is 1. 1, because any number, any number, let's say x in the power of 0, will be equal 1. This is algebraic rules. So, how much is this? That will be 11 decimal. Now, so 1011, which you can see here, is 11 in decimal. I would like to add um, 
2 to this. 11 plus 2 will be 13. But 2 in binary system is 1, 0. 1, 0 is 2. Let me prove it. 1, 0 binary. I will go to assign the positions. Position 0, position 1, and that will be 1 multiply by 2 in the power of 1 plus 0 multiply by 2 in the power of 0. That will be 2 plus 0. That will be 2 in decimal. So, 1, 0 is 2. Let's go and check. I need to prove that 1, 0, 1, 1 plus 1, 0 must be 13 in decimal because this is 11 in decimal and this is 2 in decimal. So the sum must be 13 in decimal. Let's go and make calculations. To make calculations, folks, I would like to remind you again that the highest digit, highest digit uh, in decimal, which is 9 plus 1, will be 1, 0 in decimal. But in binary, the highest digit is equal 1. So 1 binary plus 1 will be 1, 0. But I already told you folks that 1, 0 is 2. So that's nothing controversial. 1 plus 1 is equal to. But this 1, 0 is 2 in binary system. Let me go and make these calculations. 1 plus 0 will be 1. Then 1 plus 1. This is 1, 0. So 0 writing and 1 carrying to the next column, to the next position. 1 plus 0 will be 1 and 1 from the top. That will be 1, 1, 0, 1 binary. What is this? 1, 1, 0, 1 binary. Let's calculate. For this we need to put positions. 1, 1, 0, 1, position 0, 1, 2, 3. And that will be 1 multiply by 2 in the power of 3 plus 1 multiply by 2 in the power of 2 plus 0 multiply by 2 in the power of 1 plus 1 multiply by 2 in the power of 0. Now we can calculate it. That is 8. That is 1 multiplied by 2 squared, that is 4. That is 0 because 0 multiplicator, and that is 1. 8 plus 4 is 12, plus 1 will be 13 decimal. 13 decimal. Folks, 13 decimal is proof that I can make calculations in binary system and get the same correct result.